What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Classroom of the Elite. Very excited. Season 2, Episode 3. This one is called The Greatest Souls Are Capable of the Greatest Vices as well as the Greatest Virtues. Which, not incorrect at all. The greatest of greats always have some horrible thoughts, some bad thoughts. They're always above the moral high ground. They're in this, you know, they're a little bit below the moral high ground. You always have to, we're all human, you know? I love that quote. I love that saying. I'm excited. I think it's going to play a huge role in the Ayano Koji versus K because he is who I'm assuming is one of the greatest souls and he has a greatest vice. Maybe it's because he's not doing anything to stop her bullying or maybe it's a greatest virtue because he is going to do something about her, but I don't know. I'm not going to get dig too deep into it. The show's going to explain. I've stammered on along enough. I just want to let you guys know, make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure y'all check out that Patreon early access and full length early access to the other shows I'm watching, but full uncut versions of this and all the other shows. Great benefits, great community, great time. Go check that out. Let's hop right on into this. Classroom of the Elite, Season 2, Episode 3. Like I said, the greatest souls are capable of the greatest vices or the greatest virtues. Let's do it. Also, a lot of you guys let me know in the comments that I missed her scar on her chest during her shower scene. So thank you guys for always letting me know the things I miss. So it goes a lot deeper than just pure bullying, you know? Yeah, this is... Not yet. Yeah, it sure looks like you're just talking. Uh-huh, it's none of my business. I mean, obviously she's frustrated, but I need to know. Try what? What are you gonna try? Okay, come on. I need to know more. It goes deeper than that. God damn it. Manabe Shiho. Is that someone in our group? Who is that? What the hell is K doing down here? This looks like where they clone fucking Sith creatures. What the hell? I'm assuming this is like the boiler room. You're an... I'm not going to call you an idiot, K, because I like you, but why would you think Yusuke Hirata calls you down here? <laughs> this is horrible, I know. It is crazy to think there are girls and boys, you know, men and women who are just like this. And brings back some trauma from her past. Her heart's racing. Her lungs feel tight. It seems like the one who they were trying to defend, the one who they were doing this all for, because Kay bumped into her, doesn't even want this to be done. Oh my goodness. Rika's that, yeah. See? She doesn't even want this to happen. See, she seems like a decent girl. We need some asses to be whooped. I need to get another girl in here to start whooping their... Now she's getting a little too into it. What the hell, Rika? Ayano Koji is watching this? This is horrible. I want you, I want, hold on. Oh, is Manabe the girl? All he did was set the scene. People are tools. He's doing this purely for his own agenda. And I understand it, Iyanoko, but he, the greatest souls can, the greatest vices are the greatest virtues. Look at that expressionless face. Now, I don't think he means in the way that she's thinking. I think he means in a different way. Like, I need you for a plan or something. I mean, to a certain extent, she's right, but... 
They just accept it. Yep. Which is her chest, right? The scar? The scarring? Yeah. On her abdomen. Oh my, coming from a literal expressionless Iyano Koji, this sounds so, like, dark but badass at the same time. Because those who share darkness must stick together, right? In a far more reliable way. <laughs> and he has that all recorded to expose them and get them. Because you need proof. Yes. Yes. I don't know what plan he has that could possibly involve K or why he's going so far to recruit K. But if Ayano Koji says it's needed, it's needed. Okay. Yes, sir. Only she can play it? Only K? What, is she the VIP? I hate when they do this with Yano Koji and he never shows what he says. And we're back with the teacher in the theater room. Next day, minutes before the final discussion. What would that be? I guess this class moves up as a unit, right? But I mean, individually, we can buy our way into a different class. Yep. So there is a scenario in which we both graduate, you know? No one's ever done it before. It is an insane amount of points, you know? That's fine. Everyone's got their own secrets, their own hidden agendas, you know? Heck yeah. And it is a decent plan when the majority of the unit wants or should want to do it, you know? Yano Koji's gonna do it as well. Heck yeah. Okay, Ibuki. And her, even her. Oh, okay. okay. I was assuming K was the VIP, but no, she's not. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Facts. So it's not C, not B, not D. Then it has to be A. It's what's his name from D? I'm the VIP, Yukimura. Really? This way it fucking okay. She like he's like, I didn't anticipate this, but it actually works out greatly. Oh, someone's calling Horita. Who is it? Ichi no say is a smart cookie. I can't get over how that character Machi does his name looks like fucking Yuji from JJK. He looks just like him. It's crazy to me. Please enlighten me. Please enlighten me on this play. I knew it. K is the VIP. I knew it. Based off that reaction, it had to be a double layer trap. First, you and I are going to trade cell phones, so then I am the VIP. Then me and Yukimura are going to trade, so he's the VIP. And then it goes back over to me. That's why he was talking to teacher. He was talking, okay. Kabashira and this, I love that aspect that you can buy anything with points, you know? Yeah, valid point. Yeah, 
Oh, wow, okay. Shut up, Ayanoko. <laughs> Who else would have? It's you. You're the goat. What happened? Okay. Attention, students. These are the special test results. Each class receives the following point changes. Class A, minus 200 class points. Class B, no change. Class C, plus 100. And Class D, plus 50. The groups uh, received the following results. Mercury, the traitor was mistaken. Okay. Venus, the traitor was correct. Earth, which one were we? I forgot. The identity was protected. VIP was correct. The traitor was correct. Correct. All participate. Achieve correct answer after. Oh, okay. Interesting. C class definitely got the most. They got minus 200. <laughs> I love how Horikita has by far the biggest target on her back, yet it's really a Yano Koji. Said, I'll tear you apart, body and soul. That was the end of the episode? I missed the days when I can watch two, man. That shit felt like it was five minutes long. Well, I'll be damned. I was shocked at a couple of moments, especially... I can't say especially, because those girls just gave me the intention that they were just kind of assholes. I was shocked at Rika. She went from being like the shy, I don't want to do this kind of girl to just enjoying slapping K way too much. I did not like that at all. That was like some Game of Thrones Joffrey shit, but K was able to withstand that. I do, I like what I don't like the way Ayano Koji manipulated her into their alliance because I, I like and I don't like it. I like it because the alliance is generally like genuinely a good thing for Kay. Like she needs protection. And like he said, that's more reliable than Hirata and Machida. But he also was willing to let her go through all that. And he had to let her, he had to have her say it. So it's like more apparent, like you're so scared that you're willing that even selling your body isn't abnormal, you know? So it's like, it's so, it was such a, I mean, that's why this title was this title. You know, the greatest souls are capable of the greatest vices as well as the greatest virtues. Like, this man could literally do right or wrong as he pleases on a whim, you know? It's all for the betterment of his own agenda and how he... It's so crazy. But class A, shit the bed. Class B, nothing happened. Class C, really good. Class D, we did okay. As long as class A goes down and we go up, I'll take that as a dub. But we definitely have to worry about class C and especially B with now knowing Ichinose out at our plan because she was going to have the same exact plan. Like class B has always been really nasty as well. During the island test, they were really like, this is very interesting. They, mm, and I love how Horikita is getting the target on her back. Yet it's so Yano Koji. Uh. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon if you guys want to watch the full uncut version over there, as well as early access to the other shows. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.